something that I wanted to start and you know we were crazy teenagers that were really busy and we didn't have time to do anything. Yeah, not losers, just crazy and busy. Crazy busy. And um, so for a while it kind of went on hiatus. I, I still wrote songs for it but I figured hey you know when the time comes we'll have material. And uh, turns out that one time uh, we had a band practice and actually it was for this show I figured hey Maybe we can pull something out for the show. Maybe. If we're lucky. Probably not. But here we are, guys. Um, we, uh, <laughs> thank you. We, um, we wrote, we actually started writing this song at the actual band practice. We didn't, um, this was a song that I hadn't written before. It was just something that Troy started playing. He, um, he just started a simple chord progression that turned into a full-blown song. So, we really hope you guys enjoy this one. This one's called Who Are We? Oh, 
I looked up to the surface, feeling a great, overwhelming feeling of sadness, knowing that I'd never be able to take a breath of fresh air ever again. Suddenly, I opened my eyes, and a flash of white light erupted in front of me. Emerging from this light was none other than Neil Patrick Harris himself, folks. He approached us with that cute glimmer in his eyes. And he said, Tanner, you shall sing and play bass if you can manage that. Next, he walked over to Troy and said, Troy, you shall play guitar, most righteous thing. Next, he approached Drew and said, Drew, with your flowing black locks of hair, you shall also join Troy in the righteous guitar playing. And last, but certainly not least, Kaylee, you shall play drums like drums have never been played before. And so, stepping back, he looked all four of us in the eyes and spoke together four of you shall be the greatest, and albeit weirdest, band that has ever lived. As he turned away, I stopped him and said, Wait a second, Neil, we can't be in a band, we're dead, man. And to be honest, that's kind of a bummer. I mean, how am I supposed to sing if I'm dead? To be honest, Neil, I don't think I've ever been more sad in my life. And I'm in a very dark place right now. I don't know what to do. So, he turned back and looked at me, still with that glimmer in his eye, as always, and left me with one last piece of advice. Whenever I am sad, I stop being sad and be awesome instead. Thank <laughs> you. 